good to see you again. Today I am here to talk to you about oil. So this has kind of been a touchy subject for me for quite some time now because if you guys are familiar with my channel or me, you know that I have very oily skin and I have tried beauty oils in the past and I just haven't had very good luck with them. Now we all hear that, especially us girls with oily skin, we all hear that we're supposed to fight oil with oil, which I always knew in my head to be true, but I guess I just couldn't find the right beauty oil for me. Now right now if you walk into a Sephora you're kind of overwhelmed with all of the beauty oils that they have you know they keep telling you like oh if you have oily skin you need this oil or if you have dry skin you need this oil if you have premature like aging skin then you need this oil and there's just so many beauty oils out on the market right now because it's kind of like the thing that the beauty industry is kind of pushing and so I feel, at least personally, that it's a little bit overwhelming to walk into a Sephora when you're looking for something like that. And I have tried my fair share of beauty oils in the past. I've tried the Josie Maron regular and the light version, and then I've also tried the Tarte one, and then I've also tried a beauty oil from Fresh. I don't remember, I think it was Seaberry, something like that. And all of them just broke me out. You might be thinking, Katie, come on now. If you keep breaking out every time you use a beauty oil, why do you keep going back and purchasing more? Well, number one, I am a product junkie, so I'm always looking for the next be best thing. And so, I, in my personal opinion, if you don't try other things, you're not going to find what's perfect for you, and you're not going to find what works for you and what doesn't, and be able to compare them effectively. That's number one. Number two is I really do believe that you can fight oil with oil. And so if I have very oily skin and it's become a problem for me, then I'm going to try any option that I can in order to help that and overcome my oiliness. So those are the two main reasons. But this time I had kind of been over and done with beauty oils and then winter time came and so my skin did tend to get a little bit more dry dry enough to wear my normal daily moisturizer I was using the Clinique gel moisturizer wasn't enough to keep my skin from feeling dry and you know when it feels dry your skin just feels tight it kind of feels itchy and that's not good so I was like okay this is going to be the last time but I'm going to go into Sephora and I'm going to see what I can find something some sort of beauty oil that I think would be good for oily skin and hopefully won't break me out and will kind of calm the dryness that I have going on in my skin right now. So then I came across the Bosha, I think I'm saying that correctly, Zubaki? Zubaki? I, I'm totally butchering this, I'm sure. It's the Zubaki Beauty Oil and it comes in a little package like this. Actually, it's a pretty good size. This is 1.7 fluid ounces, which in comparison to some of the other ones, isn't bad. This was $46 and it's only sold at Sephora. They do have them at both Sephora's, the ones at JCPenney's and the one, the regular like freestand Sephora's. Now one of the things about this that caught my attention was obviously the packaging, I'm not gonna lie. It was bright pink, it's glass, it's cute, it's pretty, whatever. The second thing though when I was actually reading the box in the store is that it has rice bran and rice bran is supposed to give you, kind of like restore your skin, give it more of a glow and you know that if you have dry, flaky, itchy, scratchy skin, then you it looks very dull and you've kind of lost that inner glow that somebody who may have extremely oily skin would have. So I went out on a limb and they didn't have any of the smaller bottles, just like Josie Maron has like her regular bottle like this and then she also has a smaller one so you can kind of try it out. I They didn't sell anything like that so I just kind of went for it. And when I got home, I washed my face just like I regularly would. I use my Philosophy Purity Facial Watch One Step Cleanser, whatever it's called. And then instead of using my Clinique Moisturizer, I went in with this. And the thing about this is that it, like obviously it's oil, so it's going to feel a little bit greasy. But once you rub it into your skin, it is not bad at all. I mean, it soaks into your skin really, really well, and, you know, it just, it feels really good. And even when I compare this to the Josie Maron one, which I now use for a hair mask, because it just broke me out like crazy, I don't even want it near my face. When I compared the two, just to kind of do a side-by-side, -side, the Josie Maron one felt extremely thick 
on my skin. Even the light one felt a little bit more thick than this. So that's what I'm saying when you're when you have oily skin, which that's what my mine really is, you can get away with using a beauty oil and still fight that oil, fighting oil on oil, but not have that excess layer of oil sitting on your skin causing those breakouts. So that's what really sold me on this product is once I noticed that it, my skin really drank it in, I knew, okay, this isn't something that's going to just sit on my skin and just make me look like I'm trying to fry bacon on my face. <laughs> And another thing that I noticed about this is the fact that it has a lot of protection for your skin against, you know, the environmental effects that can cause premature aging. So that's always a good thing too. So if you have, you know, skin, if you're in your 30s, 40s, 50s, I still think that you could use this because it's going to protect against that as well. The smell is really, really good. It kind of smells like berries kind of smells sweet in a way. And I've just noticed that in the last, I've been using this for about a month and even using it for about a month, it's only like that much gone because you only need about three to four drops to cover your entire face. I have seriously noticed that my skin is so much smoother. You know, all of the little um, kind of like rough spots that you can get like right along here, at least I do, are definitely more smooth. I just think that my face overall just looks a lot better by using this because it's just like kind of coating my face with a little blanket of moisture. It's just, I, I absolutely love this stuff. I can't say enough good things about it and it hasn't broken me out. I mean, that's that was my main concern going in with another beauty oil is that my face has not broken out. And because my skin drinks it up so well, and it is so much lighter than the Josie Maron ones, the Tarte ones, um, the Fresh one, anything like that, I think that if you are, if you have oily skin and you're trying to fight oil with oil, this is a good one to start off with. You can always go to Sephora and get a small sample. They'll give you a sample of it. So that way you can try it out for yourself and see if it works. You know, you usually want to get enough for maybe a couple weeks so that way you can, your skin can really adapt to it and you can see if it's going to cause any breakouts, but I seriously, seriously doubt it. When I first started using this too, I would only apply it at night right before bed. So I would wash my face you know, pat it dry, throw a little bit of this on, and I had no issues. So I wanted to kind of build up my use of this to see, you know, if it was going to cause any issues in my skin. After that, and everything seemed okay, then I went in and started using it even in the morning. So I would wake up, wash my face, throw some of this on, and then go about the rest of my makeup routine. Then I noticed, hey, I think I could get kick it up a notch and, you know, provide even more moisture on my skin. So I would still use it in the morning before I applied my makeup and then at night I would mix this in with a little bit of my nighttime moisturizer which is a little bit more, you know, of an intense hydration. I would just put a little bit of, a couple drops of this in with the moisturizer in my hand, just kind of like rub it together and then apply it to my face. And so it is definitely buildable and you compare it with other things. And so again, that's another reason why I truly believe that even in the winter time, if you have extremely oily skin, you should try this because it is unlike any other beauty oil I have ever tried and I am just so 100% happy with it. And if you do end up trying it, then definitely let me know because I would love to hear whether you loved it or hated it. Hopefully you didn't hate it, but I hope you guys found this review helpful and I will see you guys next time. Bye!